what is up guys it is kbc and you are back on my say Brittany chanel channel where we do all things lifestyle on this channel home decor and so much more so in today's video we're going to be doing a home decor video but you guys have seen me do you know my put together videos or how do i put together my couch videos unboxing my couch videos before on the channel and a lot of you all wanted to see me put together you know similar uh sofas you guys enjoyed that wayfair um sofa video so i am back with another video that is similar to that i have gotten another sofa um another little couch and i'm going to be putting it together for you guys today so if you like these sort of videos go ahead and thumbs up the video like comment and subscribe share the video and let's get started set y'all up so that y'all can see my workspace so this is how it comes you all this is how it comes this is how it comes like you can see like the good size of the box a lot of you all had questions on what type of box the couch comes in it comes in a box like this so pretty much you know that the couch you know, if you had a more complicated couch, of course, it's going to come in multiple packages, but I don't think this is going to be very um, complicated to put together. But this is the size box that we're working with. I'm just going to um, flip this bad boy kind of like flat so that I can open up the box here. Okay. I want y'all to see this, so... Let me back this up. So this bad boy is already coming open. be our back piece right here you all so let me kind of show y'all not that many pieces or no not our back piece this is our cushion so as you can see this is where we're going to be connecting so i'm just kind of showing you guys the pieces this is our cushion piece to the sofa And you want to do this if you get like a lighter color on a cleaner surface. I'm just trying to see what I have here. So literally, I see like two pieces and I guess I see like the leg part. So it's two, literally two pieces. It doesn't seem complicated at all. This is the tufted part, or you, like the headrest part of the sofa. So this is not one of these um, complicated chairs. I'm kind of happy that this one doesn't really have like the arm pieces that you guys were talking about on the other Wayfair sofa. Cause you guys were like, how did that happen? Like, how did it, I don't know why I was doing that. I kind of don't really like using scissors when it comes to like linen materials because you don't want to rip anything. So that's how that's looking. So yeah, I'm gonna move the box, you guys, and then come back so that I can show you how to put it together. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that. So 
All right, you guys, so quick before we start. So underneath the couch, this is Velcro. You would open up the bottom of the couch and this is how like they pack the legs and everything. So we're just gonna open this up. It comes with instructions and I'm just gonna show you guys. The instructions seem very like easy to put together. It shows you all of the pieces that you're supposed to have. So check your pieces. I do have my hardware and things I'm supposed to have. And then it proceeds to get into your instructions. It's literally five steps. And then I'm just going to take this out. And we're going to open this up so that we can see. These are the legs. So these are the legs. And I'm just gonna lay those down there so that I have them. And then A nice little feature that they give that underneath the couch okay guys so we do have arms i forgot like this has this has like little arms but it's not complicated like the other um wayfair I'm just gonna lay this out on the floor. And what I like is that they didn't put a bunch of that styrofoam. Like sometimes I really don't like styrofoam because it gets everywhere and it makes the cleanup process a pain. But yeah. So let's get in to our step one. All right, y'all, so let me lift this up really quick, you guys, so I can show you guys what step we're on. So we're on step one, right? So this is the bottom of the couch, and this is the back piece. So we're gonna connect this to this, right? So here's what we're gonna need. You're gonna need pieces. You're gonna need the screw, which is, you know, baggy one, three, which is kind of like the little washers and the little bolts there. It's the pictures right there. So let me show you what it looks like all together, right? That's what it's looking like when you put it all together. And then here are my baggies. I already have some prepared. So I'm gonna also use this, you know, I think they call this what, like an Allen wrench or something. But yeah, I'm gonna use this to kind of screw this in. So let me show y'all. I gotta bring, pull this back down so y'all can see. I'm testing out my new tripod. Hold on guys. Cause I want y'all to be able to see this. Okay. So you guys see that there's holes right here. There's four holes right here. And then we have four holes on this. We're gonna connect these holes to these holes now if you have like two people this is will be awesome for the other person to kind of help you hold this but for the sake of the video this is what you're gonna do like if you don't have another person then you can feel free to do this but take your velcro back down if you have connected your velcro i connected my velcro but you're gonna need to um not have it connected for this particular part that you need to be able to have access to these holes, okay? So, at the bottom of your couch, there are holes, I just showed you the holes. So, let me show you what the setup is so you guys can get like a closer look so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, all right guys, so I'm right here at the bottom of the couch. So you guys see, you guys can see 
this and this, right? This is the other side. Because, you know, people really want to know. So this is what we're doing. We have taken our Velcro off. And so, like I said, if this is a two-person, that would be great. Where you're going to stick this in the hole. And there's four holes. So, of course, you're going to have the same setup for those screws. And you're going to screw this into the hole. Now, of course, I'm going to need to, because it's one person doing this, I'm going to need to kind of use my hands. But I just wanted you guys to see what I'm doing as I'm filming the video so you guys are not like what is she doing at the bottom of the couch this is what i'm doing so we're gonna make sure this is lined up so we can get this screwed in okay wait i gotta make sure this is lined up make sure it's lined up into the hole properly like i said this would be great if you had two people doing this hold on you kind of also have to squeeze it in like so i suggest doing this with two people okay i see I'm trying to line it up, you guys. This is why I'm telling y'all, like, make sure. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I gotta apply pressure from the beginning. Where's my screw? It's still in there. This is kind of like trial and error, guys. Don't break your couch, though. Okay. Guys, I'm going to get somebody to help me hold this so I can connect this. One second, guys. Okay, you all. So I just wanted to show you what I'm working with so far. So you guys can kind of see... We had our couch laid down inside of the couch. As you guys can see, I took the, the screws and bolts and I really suggest, let me move back so you guys can see me. I really would suggest you all that you get assistance so that you could really smush the couch and the base piece together so that you could really fasten those in. So now we are on to the legs. So let me kind of raise this up so you guys can see. We're on to the legs right there. So we're on to the legs. You're going to do the first, well, I would say the front legs first. Obviously, like the legs that have the little slant like this, you're going to put them at the front. You slide them into place like that. There's a triangle. Let me show you the bottom. I know I keep on moving, y'all, but... Y'all really want a detail on how to put this couch together. So right there at the bottom, you can see it's a triangle. So that's how you know what leg you're going to use. And they have them labeled. So they, yeah, they have them labeled. So let me adjust that. So you're going to take, let me show y'all the screw. This is the screw right here. So you're going to take the pieces except for your longer screws are going to be used for this so you put your legs in place let me adjust this so y'all can see me and then what you're going to do is right in here you're going to find the groove in the leg this is why you have your longer screws so you should start to feel the groove of the leg. And then you just start, you know, screwing it in. Hold it. You can have somebody else hold it for you. That's the one thing about these, y'all. <laughs> just keep 
keep on screwing it. That's why I like these longer screws, because you see this is going right on in. And don't tighten it. If you guys have y'all little gloves that y'all use, my hand is kind of hurting from the other side of the couch, but we're all good. Y'all need a little muscle power. Go and get y'all some muscle to get this going. Because once you start getting to the, uh, like getting it closer in, it gets harder and harder to get on in. So you might need somebody to help, like, drive this bad boy in. But I'm not going to put that all the way in until I get the second screw. But you guys, y'all get the point that you're screwing the legs in at the angle that it's supposed to be in. So I'm going to put the other leg, the other front leg, and then we're going to move on to how to put the arms in the back legs on the couch. All right, y'all. So I did screw on one of my front legs right here. But now I'm going to show you very like briefly how i'm gonna do the legs now you you attach this the arm right to the side here but before you attach that we have to do the legs so you're gonna need these screws again except for you're gonna use the shorter ones and what you do is you're gonna place your leg and you're gonna slide your leg into the side of your arm like so right you turn it over and you want to make sure the groove you want to make sure the groove is facing where you want to put the screw in because if you come from the wrong side it's not going to get in to what you need right so obviously it's this way because when we turn it this way we want our leg to go back like so but for the sake we're gonna just turn this on the side and you're gonna, you know if you have the right leg, if it's matching up, the grooves are matching up on the inside. So you put your screw, this is not, this is like the arm, but you put the leg inside this little slot, right? So you just do that and we're just gonna take that like so. So that's how you attach that. But I think, hold on. I think I gotta go through this piece though. So let me take this out. Let me read the instruction. But I just wanted to show you guys that, that this is where this goes. So give me one second. So it says we are on step three and it says assemble back legs to arms using shorter bolts, half tighten the bolts, and so this is how it's working. So obviously we slid that part into there. And then in the holes, you're gonna go, there's the two holes right there. You're gonna put these in. And then this is a whole separate piece. So we'll get to step four in a moment. But I just wanted to show you guys, you put your shorter screws, make sure it's lined up. And this is what you do to get your legs attached. And then basically this is how it would look when you put your, when you attach the arms to this, let me show you. So this is how it would look. You see, this is like the back of the couch. I have the Velcro open, but of course, this is how this would look once you have the arm attached. So we're making progress, guys. I'm getting kind of used to this vlogging thing again, but we're making progress. So stay tuned for the video so you can see the final reveal of the couch in the space and everything. Also, we're going to attach the arms. So let me get the directions for the arms. All right, you guys, so I have successfully attached the leg. As you can see, this is the arm. And so how we do the arm is gonna be the same way. We're gonna take our screws and we're going to
place them in this hole, this hole, and this hole. So there's three holes. The three holes line up with these three holes. So you have this hole, this hole, and this hole. So all we're gonna do, gonna take that, make sure that's good. We're gonna take some screws, screws. So this, we're gonna add our little washer piece. And we're gonna add this. So we're on step four. Assemble arms to the back and seat using the shorter bolts. Half tighten all the bolts until they are aligned to the holes until they fully tighten. So you guys, you see I have this part of my couch open so that I'm able to see. So let me see. So let me show you. You guys can see hole. I'm gonna go under here. Thank God for Velcro, right? <laughs> You're gonna go under here. You see that? Line it up with the hole. And then I'm just gonna start getting it going a little something so that I can screw that in. This thing it gets slippery. But you might want to get, like I said, some muscle help, <laughs> some family help. Um, the sofa was a little bit, like to screw these things in, took a little bit of time. So. So you just line it up with the holes, guys. So that one is in. Here's the hole. And you're just gonna make sure Okay, there it is. The hole is right here. I know you guys are probably like, what is she doing? Setting up my screws again. And please get a buddy, you guys, if you need it, because um, I didn't think this couch was very simple. The only thing that really kind of tripped up the process a little bit was the fact that the cushion, this cushion, um, when you lay it on the side to get this in, kind of presented a bit of a situation. Sometimes you need somebody like to hold it, to guide it, to guide it in. So, but like, it's very simple to kind of get the arms on. So we literally have one more screw and that is on the side here. So you're gonna go underneath this part of the couch. I just wanted to show you guys this. Where's my washer? So right here. Oh crap, so. This is where you want to make sure you don't do this 100%. And so you can kind of move this. Okay. I'm going to take this and get this where I could, um, yeah. So I need this to be able to line up just a little bit. Okay, hold on guys. This is why you wanna make sure you don't do this too tight because this is kind of too far up right here. So I'm just gonna undo my screws just a little bit so it's able to shift. 
Okay. And then you should be able to see your hole that you need here. So if you can't see your holes, just shift, unloosen the other ones, and they just shift. So. It's like the super easy part. I know you guys are like, what in the world is she doing? I'm purposely like one of you guys to see. And we're just gonna We're gonna set, <laughs> we're gonna set our other side. We're gonna set our other side up now. So obviously this side, when you put it on, it's gonna go like that. So you're gonna take this, slide it here, take your screws, I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm cut off. I'm like really trying to. So you're gonna take these. And do our thing with them. And don't worry, we have plenty more washers. lining up I know I'm like <laughs> y'all are probably like what is she doing I'm getting this couch together darling because I want to see how it really looks um, in the space and so I feel like this is going to be so beautiful and of course, I'm gonna get my buddy system to get this bad boy to the primary bedroom because I'm in the living room building this, guys. But of course, so you guys can see, this is how you do this. And of course, I just showed you guys how to connect the arm. So basically, like you're putting the back piece, well, the back feet, And I know it seems like it's loose for a long period of time, but you just have to work these screws in for some reason. You have somebody that has muscles, this will be very easy for them because they could just get this bad boy going. But you know it's in when the chair, well, the legs are not wiggling. Get your husband to do it. <laughs> or if you have a brother, an uncle, or if you're a strong woman, you can get it done yourself. But, you know, just an advisory that these screws, y'all, like this was a pain in the behind to put um, the base piece to the back of the chair because of the cushion. And then the screws didn't really make it any better. But you know, laying it on the side that's what they suggest really will help but get you like a two to three man team i had a three man team to kind of help me connect that base part to gain leverage on it but yeah so basically you all i'm gonna screw this in and apply this arm the same way on the opposite side because right now it's currently it's currently let me show you 
right now is currently on this side that you guys can see this is the front right and this is the side of the couch so when i flip it over i'll put on the um the other leg i'll put on the other leg so you guys can see but right now like it's on its side um you see the bottom i have the velcro open on the bottom in the back so this is a good thing about this piece because you're able to really kind of like see what you're screwing the stuff onto. This is very secure, it's on. And so yeah, like the next time you see this chair, this chair will be fully put together in the primary space. And yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed the put together part. I kind of tried to be as detailed as possible. There were some hiccups. Um, like I said, my tips for you all are to really, to get this back piece connected. Let me show you. To get this back piece connected to this piece right here, cause this kind of slides into this. Not like slide, but you have to slide it together in a sense, like push it together. I just push is a better word. Um, I'm trying to let me kind of show you guys really quick so if you guys can see if i can show you if you guys can kind of see that where the screws from you have to screw from the bottom of this into this with those number one screws right and the cushion on the front side of this right here made this very hard to push this into this and screw that so you need somebody to kind of push the cushion in as you're doing that you know what i'm saying so oh crap <laughs> i'm trying to really work this new tripod guys sorry but yeah the next time you see this couch this couch will be in my primary bedroom and yeah like you guys are gonna see it fully put together um i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me like the detailed aspect because a lot of you all in the previous videos you guys requested to see me like step by step and i tried to be as helpful as possible so yeah you'll see the couch in the space what is up you guys we are back and I am here to show you guys what the couch looks like in this space. So just a disclaimer, you all, I just wanna say, like I know you all are like, why is she putting um, different pieces in the space and she has to paint and all the other renovation type of stuff that has to go on in the room? Well, when designing for me, I like to design in the opposite way. Like a lot of people, they like to wait to see what they need. I have to see it. And then like after that, because there's nothing worse than you doing a space and then you buy the stuff and it's in another room and you don't know how it works for that room. So at least without the paint and everything, I'm able to see what the pieces that I'm buying are looking like for the space. I'm able to measure, I'm able to position things the way that I think it needs to be done. If I'm doing like the electricity and the lighting, I'm able to see how those lights are looking before the paint and the things go up because nothing worse than paying money for stuff and you do not know how it is looking in the space. So this is the final uh, result for the chair. This was pretty easy to put together um, for the space. You guys see that I had it, you know, taped off or mapped off of where I wanted to put a chair in the first place. Um, and I also, like I told you guys, I'm going to be moving the thermostat and that sort of electrical stuff over, taking out different things and seeing how everything is gonna maneuver. But so far, this is what I have come up with as far as like the setup for the couch, this little small uh, seating area, just to this corner, right? So I'm, you know, spacing everything out. I'm kind of working on what type of lighting and different things that I want to um, work with in the space and how the spacing is also working with, like, as you can see, 
how the spacing for my tables is in comparison to the couch because if I didn't have the couch I wouldn't have known what type of side tables and things that I wanted to use for the space so that's why that's good also seeing like the distance in between the pictures and the couch how that's working how you know the lighting and everything is going to look so that's why I feel like it's important you guys like for me to you know even though this stuff is going to come back out of the room when they paint and the flooring is put down I just needed to quickly see what it was going to look like before that sort of stuff happens so that I'm not like buying things and I'm like mm, this is not working like you know everything is done as far as like let's say everything is done as far as like pain and different things and then I then decide to go buy stuff and then I'm just like mm, this is not working this is not how I thought it was going to look so that that is why that's happening so right here on the fireplace um I'm loving this um new lamp that I got and how it's looking I kind of wanted like a the candle effect but I didn't really want a candle I wanted just real light to just be that mm, on the fireplace and I'm thinking that this gold lamp is definitely going to look beautiful when the black goes up when you know the tile work or whatever framework that I decide to use is going to go up I have some ideas but it's definitely going to be a black backdrop for the fireplace but I'm loving how this is looking as opposed to the uh, candle holders that I had there previously. Um, I'm loving this lamp. Also, I like that it's bringing gold and it's balancing the gold that I have here on the fireplace. So it's good to me. I feel like it's definitely going to blend when this is made black. It's definitely going to blend all of the nice wood and things together on the fireplace. So let me get my camera i'm gonna show you guys this particular vignette of me mapping out my bedroom side table or my nightstand side table you guys some of you guys call it a nightstand a side table but i'm going to show you how this looks i showed you all in a previous video when i first purchased these but they were in the guest room so i'm going to show you how it's kind of looking in proximity to the fireplace so that you guys can see a bit about what I'm working on and the point of why I'm doing this. All right, you guys, so we are currently at my nightstand area. We are in, just in case you guys are new to the channel, we are in my primary bedroom. And um, you guys may see that there's still some renovations going on, that's okay. So what we were working on is we were removing popcorn ceilings, of course, you know, vent things are being changed out, electricity is being done in here, all kind of good stuff. So I wanted to briefly bring my nightstand side table in here um, because my primary bedroom is quite big. So I wanted to see how some of the items would look, like I said, in proximity to my fireplace and this, you know, these little moments and vignettes over here. So this is what I'm kind of playing with right now. This is not the final draft of this side table. Um, I just like to get a feel of what I like. And then, you know, as you as you go on, you get what I'm saying? Like I, if, when my bed and things, um, after the renovation is done, I'll be able to, to see a bit more of what I've actually want on here. Right now, this is just me playing with a few things to see how I like it in this space. Of course, I love this mirror. I showed you guys this before when I went and picked these up, but they were in the guest bedroom. So you guys were not able to really <laughs> see them in the primary bedroom space. Um, when renovation processes are happening, you all, it's like a bunch of, I would say, uh, feelings that you have, feelings of excitement, feelings of like, oh, it's projects trying to, you know, overcome different tasks. So this is just what I'm doing, y'all, mapping out and, you know, seeing what I want to do as far as design. So this is what I have come up with so far. Of course, it's going to be tweaked. It's not the final draft, but I'm liking how this particular kind of mango wood is looking with the beam on the fireplace. 
So I really like the two different shades of wood. It's still giving the same kind of variations of the wood on here. Um, this is just a bit of a lighter tone. Um, and it's also, like I said, it's, you know, bringing the black, the gold and different elements back into the space too. So this is what I have so far, you all. Let me know your thoughts on, you know, this particular section of the primary bedroom. Are y'all liking where it's going? I know like the renovation is not complete. You know, I'm gonna keep y'all in the loop of what it is <laughs> in the, for the whole process. So go ahead and subscribe. But let me know in the comment section below, are y'all feeling the couch? Did y'all, you know, was it easy for y'all to follow along putting the couch together? Leave it in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching my video. See you soon on the next video.